Well, hey all, how are y'all doing today? We are out riding on a greenway in Clayton, North Carolina. And Blaine and I were sitting here talking before we started riding that we wanted to talk about some of the things that we do preparing to go on one of our e-bike rides. And we wanted to take you along. So stick around and let's get into it. Well, hello again, Internet. Welcome back to the channel. As you already know, I am here with the lovely, beautiful Mrs. Southern e-biking. Say hello again, beautiful. Hello again. I, I, didn't, I, I didn't, I can't even talk. Okay. Hel, hello again. I feel like I'm a, a dummy with a ventriloquist. Hello again, everybody. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Oh, this might be a fun one to stick around for. Hey, yeah, as Michelle said, we're... Oh, look at this squirrel coming right at us, man. <clears throat> Dude, he's making them crash. Look at that. <laughs> uh, we're going to talk a little bit about comfort and what we do with our bikes, with ourselves, and what we carry with us uh, as summer is coming in. We typically ride... We're looking for an average of 30 or so miles each ride. Sometimes more, sometimes a little less. Probably a little less today because they say thunderstorms is coming in. But yeah, Michelle? Yes. You know, it's what? Three categories that we said we really have. And so what, what do you want to take first? Let's just do the personal one real quick because we know we don't have a real long time because where we're coming to this, this greenway gets pretty busy. Right, right, okay. So, first thing is clothing, straight up. Our okay. Per personal comfort is clothing. I wear what I wear in my house. I'm not, I'm not buying special clothes. I enjoy, if for the summertime, I wear a pair of just regular longer shorts, generally jean shorts, and, and a regular cotton top and my, reg my shoes and my helmet, and that's it. I don't wear no fancy gloves, I don't wear no fancy pants, and I don't wear no fancy shirts. <laughs> okay. Well, that was quick. So I'm not Miss Fancy Pants. <laughs> How about you, Blaine? Are you Mr. Fancy Pants? <laughs> you know, I wear, believe it or not, on the hotter days, I wear a light material long sleeve shirt. And that is because I learned long ago, when you start to sweat some, that light material will catch in the sleeves and create an air conditioner for you, especially when you are moving. Uh, so I'll, I'll wear that, which a lot of people don't understand when they see a long sleeve shirt on me. Uh, I wear jeans, unless I'm out mountain biking, then I'll wear a, a jersey and cycling pants. Uh, Not the spandex kind, though. And I wear regular hiking shoes. I don't use <laughs> clip-on pedals, even on the mountain biking. Uh, two of us going to be on your left. How you doing today? Uh, well, I mean, and, and we're, that's, we're and that's pretty it. Much, uh, we're pretty well, much... Our helmets. Our well, yes, our helmets, you know, because we like to talk. Yeah, and, as and everybody honestly, can tell. For these casual rides that we're doing right here, uh, that's the main reason I wear this helmet on these rides here, yep. is so that her and I can discuss things together. So, yeah, that's a, a big plus. When I go off roading, I actually do wear a helmet, and, and you're supposed to in a lot of places that I go mountain biking, uh, but I think it's a good idea because I'm pushing it there. Yep. So now, how about, what do, you, what do we want to do next, Michelle? We got- Our bikes, you know, got, but we generally keep our bikes- Have a great bikes, day. We generally keep our bikes set up just, you know, kind of as they are. Uh, for me, uh, um, again, it's basic for me. I like a swept back handlebars um, because of my stenosis in my upper part of my neck. It keeps me sitting upright. I like my, <laughs> my old seat from my Schwinn from 2020. God forbid if something ever happens to it. <laughs> yeah. And, and every, honestly, everything else on my bike is stock. So I am, I am pretty much easy. And then of course I've got my bag and uh, Blaine and I've got our opinions on the different bags and stuff. So, but that, that's pretty much it for me as far as how my bike is outfitted. How y'all doing? Though, I know everybody outfits their bikes differently. So how about you, Blaine? Uh, well, I mean, yeah, I, I do do differently. You know, I'm always looking 
for the next best thing. Yes. Uh, so, you know, but this seat that I'm using right now, I actually really like it. Uh, we'll put a picture of it in here, a short film of it in here. Uh, I may even end up doing a review on that. I like a flat back bar where Michelle likes a swept back bar much more on the bike. To me, it's com it adds comfort to have a mirror so I can tell what's coming up behind me. Uh, I like to have a decent set of lights going. Now, the light on this bike for on a bike trail is okay. I've got two tail lights. Two of us going to come by on your left. Uh, yeah, I've got two tail lights on this, but what else? Pedals. I got spoiled when I bought some good mountain bike pedals for the off-road stuff. And honestly, I like them so well, I put them on the bikes that I'm just cruising with, where Michelle kind of likes regular pedals. Michelle you know, doesn't. Pedals Michelle likes whatever came on the bike except for the seat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what my bag? I'm back to the Topeak bag here. Figured out, you know, what was going on with and that. Why is that, Blaine? Why are you why are you back to the Topeak? Because I like to take it off of the bike and take it with me when I when I'm done riding. I don't want to leave it on there. And then there's me. Well, this, yeah, and, and that's getting into, uh, but but you know, honestly, I'll I'll discuss the reason why, when we talk about just that. Uh, yep. Here's a stop sign. <laughs> yep. In the, in an interesting spot. Yeah. So what? So are we on? Are we on what we take with us? Kind yeah, of a I, thing now. I think so. Okay. You know, yeah. Let's go ahead and talk about what we take with us. So what do you? What do you carry with you, Michelle? I mean, honestly, the reason I like my bag to stay on my bike is because I don't want to carry it all over the place. I carry my purse. So, and I put my purse in my bike bag. I always, when we go out riding, I put a couple of snacks in it, a couple of uh, small towels in it, a couple bottles of water. And honestly, that's it. That's, that's what I pack. Yeah. You know, I mean, that, I, am, I am a very basic person. I don't like change and I don't like taking a bunch of stuff. Okay, so that's why you don't mind having your bag that stays semi-permanently exactly. attached. No, it's not semi-permanently, it's permanently unless it chooses a well, fly Well, in your off. case, yeah, because you've never you've not taken it off since I put exactly. it on there the first time. It's never been exactly. off. We go to West Virginia, it's, it's heading on there while we're traveling. Yep. Uh, yeah, it's always on there. But you are actually putting a bag uh -huh. in that bag. So most yeah, of the I stuff that you carry, you just take take out one time. Yeah. And that's the reason that I want to have this. That's the reason I like a detachable bag, easily detachable, because I put a lot of my filming stuff in there. So I got two cameras. Well, one camera's on me and one camera is uh, in the bag. I've got tripod in there if we wanted to do some different shots. I think a, a mount for my handlebars is in there. My microphone equipment is in there. I've got a small set of tools that I ride with in there. Uh, I always carry personal protection with me. Uh, I'll carry, and this is not necessarily filming equipment, but I have some battery banks because of the phone. Now, I'm not using it right now, but that'll go in my top tube bag. I put my keys for the bike and the vehicle in there. So, we have discussed getting a small first aid kit, which we probably should get. Yeah, yeah, too. we do not have one of those, but. So, uh, but, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I guess the point of, I, the good point of all of this, of uh, our discussing this, is that this is up to you. This is up to us. Nobody should be telling you what you should be doing or what you shouldn't be doing. Yeah, and, and the reason you, she's saying that is because we have had people say, oh, you shouldn't be going out there in jeans. You're going to get way too hot and things or, like or that. Or you need to have this or you have to do that. Yeah, don't buy into that. Yeah, don't, don't just because somebody says something doesn't mean you should have to do it. You know, because, I mean, these e-bikes are expensive. And if you go out and buy a bunch of things just because people say so, you're going to expend an, expend extra money that 
you may not even you, want to spend. Yeah, yeah, and it might be no no need for it. Exactly. So, so yeah. this is I, when you're riding your e-bike. It's all about you. In in one thing in life that you can say that should be all about you. There you go. There so, you go. So, I think you have anything to add to this, Michelle. This is no. Just, this is no. basically for summer, and this is for... Yeah, we just wanted to come in and chime in about that, because we've been, you know, every everybody's got sales going on for e-bike accessories and all kinds of stuff, and uh, we got another stop sign here. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I generally don't buy into that. Blaine likes to buy. <laughs> well, Blaine likes to buy, yeah, no question about that. So, so yeah, I think that will wrap it up. Yep. Uh, from right here in North Carolina. Hey, this is Southern E-Biking and... This is Southern E-Biking. And this is for our summer, summer comfort. Hey, what are we telling them, Michelle? Stay safe, God bless, and keep the wheels rolling. Wow. I can't believe... That you're going to ruin right it. Of you're you're going to ruin it. <laughs> I just said what you asked me to say, and hey, now you don't believe it. Once again, we're out. I'm not out. saying it again. No, we're out. <laughs>